Hello all, it's Marco from Random Door Media with my third video on Smullen Survive the Wild. The first video has all the lore and background information about what this game is about, so if you haven't seen the first video, go check that out, because the first video comes before the third one. In the previous video, in the second video, I had a few negative run-ins with some uh, ants. I was going to say giant ants, but they're not. They're regular sized ants, just that our character is tiny. Unfortunately, I ended up getting defeated twice. But I managed to continue, and I built a little home. And it looks like I'm back at the beginning for some reason. Or let's sort of back at the start area here. Check my equipment, make sure that's... Is that still all intact? Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, because this is the spawn point. I guess you don't you don't continue where you left off unless you use a bed, maybe? Because I had built a tiny house because in this episode I was going to continue expanding the house. Oh, the resources have all come back to you. I have a lot of resources right now. Yeah, so I was going to expand the house in today's episode. But I'm not near the house, and I think it's because I put a bed down, but maybe I didn't activate it. So when you re-log in, you don't re you don't start at your where you logged off, you start at your spawn point, I guess. Question mark. I'm gonna head back to where my house is. Along the way though, I'm gonna pick up some of these. Because the edible mushrooms are decent food, and they're they're pretty easy to harvest and are quick to cook up. You just need to put down a simple campfire. Something else I discovered recently is that... I'm just going to double check. I'm pretty sure that when it comes time... You'll notice that when you harvest things... Here, I'm going to grab one of these. Okay. When you press F to gather things, it simply puts the, puts bundles on the ground. And previously, I was pressing F to pick them up. But if you just hold down F, it will automatically pick up whatever's near you. So that's pretty nice. That's a, that's a nice quality of life, life addition. So just there, and then hold down F picks up everything around you. Good to know. I made my home, I think, down that way somewhere. So that's where I need to get to. I am, oh, I'm going to go get these mushrooms while I'm here. It's like I said, food is very important. I discovered in the last session that your food, your, like your nourishment has to be at a minimum level in order for you to heal back. I think before my nourishment was like 40 or so, and I wasn't able to heal back my health has stayed low. Now that I'm looking at it, the nourishment bar, which is the blue one, has a little tiny... Uh, I can't point that out with the mouse. If I remember in post, I'll, uh, I'll put an arrow, but there's a little tiny bar on the blue bar, which uh, that might indicate that if your nourishment is higher than that, you'll heal naturally. I wonder if that's a possibility, but in the meantime, I'm just going to harvest all this while I'm here. Hopefully the house I made is still there. It should be, assuming that the reason why I started back where I did was because that's the spawn point. It's kind of silly that you don't continue where you left off, though, but that's fine. I built just across a bridge, and there it is. Okay, there's the bridge. Now, I also got attacked by ants around this area, too. So i got to keep an eye out for those. I also did discover that the carpenter ants are two types. Okay, yeah, I see a house over there. Good, good, good. Yeah, the uh, carpenter ants, there's workers, and then there's warriors, and it looks like only the warriors are hostile. Hey, got some, a few resources right outside. Good, good. Okay. Home sweet home. Yeah, so this is definitely my home. So can I 
activate spawn point. That's what it was there. Respawn point or respawn point set. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is put down a little campfire. That right there. Oh, that's that's a big campfire. <laughs> Collision right there. And then I'll start cooking up cooking up some of these uh, mushroom steaks. Yeah, there's quite a bit of them. And that should be in my inventory. It is, so I got six now. Okay. Now I'm going to look into expanding my base here. I'll expand out that way. Simply get the hammer ready. Right click brings up the menu. Foundations. There's only one foundation option right now. Should be able to snap together. There. Uh, oh, that's overhanging the water. Okay, that's fine. Can I will it go here at least? There. Okay. I'll expand the base out this way if I can. Can I put it here? Yes, but it's going to be up against a rock. <laughs> um, I'll make it longer. <laughs> there. I was hoping to make it up bigger out this way, but you know what? Going longer is fine too. I can actually build it in both directions. I can dismantle this and this, and I guess I'll dismantle the roof because that's those are like corner roofs. Hold down, you have to pick all this stuff back up again. That's good. Dismantle. Dismantle. I guess over here, I could probably just make like a little bedroom. I'll put my bed over in this area. It's starting to get dark, so this is a great time to be working on this rather than being out and about. Make sure the wall's facing the right way. I'll have a window looking out that way. Normal wall there. I already have a window that way, so I'll do a normal wall. And I can put my torch in my offhand so I can see better. Thank you very much. There and there. Looking good. And I'm going to put the, the ceiling up or the roof up on this part first. I can get the corner piece. That goes back. Good. Thank you. Uh, next one is this chimney. Okay. So right here. Okay, good. Okay, that's where it's going to get tricky. How does this go? Guess I'll take down this part. Put a corner roof right here. And another corner roof there to no structural support. Like that. Hmm. That's weird. Is that what these other pieces are for? Or this piece or this piece? Which one? Will that go in there? I'm not great when it comes to to building with like non totally flat pieces or cubes. No structural support. Like how does that work? Or do I have this entirely wrong? Is there are there flat pieces? Like is it possible is there just a flat roof? Like that? And I put the flat roof here and then I'll just put the Oops. Oh, you really got to watch out for that. I pressed that, um, the C by mistake. Yeah, make right sure we got the structure looking the right way. And where is it? This one there. Hmm. Oh, that, that works. And one more. And that works too. Yay. Okay, good. Oh, I didn't close the door. Now I'll dismantle the bed so I can move that over there. And interactive. Bed. Make a brand new bed. 
go like there. It's got that little mound of dirt, but that's okay. Activate the new respawn point. What do I have in the chest? I got some... Just my old clothing. Okay, so let's make a few more... Maybe a few more chests then. That's right here. One over there. And one over there. I don't know how much space other things are going to need. Because when you take a look, there's also like a uh, a stone cutter. So that might that might take up some space. Decorations, you can also do a cabinet that requires refined wood. Okay, I guess that's coming up. Uh, oh, cancel that. I can make myself a chair. <laughs> a bottle cap table. <laughs> and that's a twig torch. Wait, is a twig torch? Because that's in the building construction. Is that something that you can build and place? Ah, yeah. That way I don't have to actually carry the torch around with me every, all the time. One there and one there. Does that work? Yeah, there we go. Now the place is nice and lit. Okay, so I'll get these out of there. And I'm going to move them over here. You, you, you can all go in there. Yeah, that chest I'll just leave there for now. I guess I'll put some building supplies in, uh, in here. So it's not taking up as much space. I want my tools down here so they're out of the way. Got all these extra torches. <laughs> And I got some food with me. Nourishment's getting low already. That's fine. Okay, what can we do in the workbench? What do we got? Uh, simple bandages! Yes! <laughs> I need some of those. Now, where are... There's a repair. What can I repair? Sure. Uh, the hatchet. Oh, it does cost. Okay. Oh! When... I was thinking back, I saw something was repaired for free, and I think it's with the hammer, you can repair structures for free. That's what one of the tutorials said. Okay, so that was repairing, so all our stuff is repaired. I don't need all those torches, so I can drop off a couple of them. Now, what can I make? Wooden club's what we have. Wooden hatchet we have. Okay, crude hatchet. What do you need for that? You need chitin. You need chitin for a crude hatchet. Okay. Wood sword. Oh, bows. Good. A mandibular pickaxe made with a bull ant mandible. Ooh, nasty. Fire arrows require stone and insect fur. Interesting. A ladybug travel kit. A special treat to tame a ladybug as well as backpack designed to attach to their forewings. Providing additional storage space for the ladybug to carry. Okay. And a pet whistle. Um... That's... don't need that yet. So let's look at better weaponry and or armor. So wood sword. So the wood club itself is 6 to 8 blunt damage, 20 stamina usage. The sword is 8 to 11, 20 stamina usage. Okay, let's get that... Uh, get that wood sword crafted. A bow. Got everything I need. So I can make... Basic arrows. Okay, you need three wood so I can make... So... I can make five? Ooh, you get ten each, though. Two, three... Four. Okay, good. Arrows. I'm hoping I won't need the club. So I can put the club away. So these things... Unlike other games, your... When you assign it to the numbers 1 through 8, that's not actually an inventory slot. There are some games where you put it there, and it, the actual item's here. Here, the item's still in your main inventory, and that just assigns a quick key to it. Okay, so I'll put my spare... Uh, where'd it go? Uh, spare club will go in the chest. Okay, so now I have a bow. Fire, and so that's aim fire. That's yeah, a little crouch. Left, left control is dodge. Huh. 
Oh, you have to be moving. Hey, I wonder if I can change that. What's Q? Let me take a look at the settings. I want to see if I can change um, dodge to maybe Q because control is kind of awkward to get to. Does anything use Q? Doesn't look like it. Okay, where is it? Where's dodge? Roll. Okay, it's called. So it's under roll. So can I make that a Q? Okay. Because I think that's easier for me to get to. Oh, getting hungry. Let's eat some more steak. Mushroom steak. And what did this say over here? So I'm sheltered, I have a full stomach, and I'm well nourished. Good, good, good. Okay, so let's go out and continue exploring. Ultimately, the goal is to head west and speak to Kalev. That's just across the river. I wonder if I can just make my way there now. Oh, I see ants already, and it looks like a honeycomb over there. Yikes. Um, you know what? Is this, this is the a great owl statue? Let's go. Let's go take a look up here. Let's see what's over here, because I only got, only checked out some of the tutorials, tutorial effigies, but I didn't actually go up here enough. I need some wood. I might as well pick all this up now. Because now I kind of have a better idea. Ooh, it's a grasshopper down there. I kind of have a better idea of the resource usage. So I'm going to be picking up more fibers and more more wood as we go along. I'll keep going up. Yeah, there's the statue. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, free food. <laughs> okay. So I would imagine these are offerings to the Great Sacred Owl. Is there a problem if I take this? I'm assume if nothing happens to me, then it's okay for me to take it. The Sacred Owl um, authorizes me to take that. Wow, now we get a better look at our surroundings. If I... If I'm correct, over there is where we started from. I kind of zigzagged my way down here. And over there where those mushrooms are along the side of that tree, that's where I went up, up and around. And then... On the other side, there was that uh, wooden gnome statue. So down there, I might be able to see ants or something. But we need to go over that way. And that way. Yeah, pretty much that direction over there. So if I click on Caleb, I could mark him. Mark Caleb, and then on my map it should... Yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah. So he shows up on the low compass way at the very top of the screen. Now we need to sort of work out... Oh, oh, oh. There's a owl effigy here. Let's take a look at this. Small folk believe owls possess magical powers and worship them as a kind of divinity. Idols, statues, and decorations are crafted in their honor. Okay, let's work away. Hey, what's that blue thing down there? Huh? Is that a is that a bottle cap? There's a grasshopper. Grasshoppers are gonna be hostile. There's a there's my home. My home sweet home. Okay, so which way? This way. Hold on a second. I got the bow out. I'm just going to practice with the bow. Um, I'm not particularly good at archery. Let's hope I can do better in this game. Okay, I'm going to practice by shooting the owl effigy. 
Okay, so bow. Uh, out. Right click to aim. Okay, it says aim, and then left click. You need to equip an arrow. Equip an arrow. How do you, how do you equip? Oh, right there. Like that. Is that equipped? Okay. Right click, left click. Okay, there we go. And is it recover? Oh no, I guess they're not recoverable. Okay. Okay, so right click, right click zooms in. Left click. And the longer you can left click it for, the better the accuracy, I guess. Yeah, the arrow fades away after a while. So what do we have over here? I'm pretty sure that's where ants are, so what about this side of the water? That's where I found the blue thing. So what do we have? Yeah, there it is. There's a little blue thing. I'll switch over to the sword, keep that out in handy. Hey, there's more... Um, Okay, I don't want anybody sneaking up on me, so let's check if this grasshopper is... Okay. Hello? Nope, you're okay? Wow, look at that grasshopper. Look at the detail on that. Hello, little guy. I mean, big guy. <laughs> I'll gather some more stuff. Um, okay, he's looking at me. That's got me worried. <laughs> oh, is he? No. Oh. Just is he just? Is it just unpredictable? So these little tiny stones over here. Oh, harvest! You need. Oh, I need a mandibular pickaxe. And good grief, that um, <laughs> that grasshopper surprised me. Get some more twigs. Another cave here. Hmm. Yeah, another one of these areas that's so dark that even the torchlight won't penetrate it. Okay, what do we got here? Um, harvest. Uh, poisonous mushroom. Okay, we'll harvest it. Won't eat it, but maybe we can make something out of it like, I don't know, alchemy stuff or poison arrows. Yeah, I don't know. If a um, if something is poisonous to a small folk, would it be would it be poisonous to like an ant or something? Oh, there, that's so nice. <laughs> the last two videos, I was clicking individually. You, you don't even have to press once to knock them down. You just hold down F, and it gathers everything at once. Okay, there's a bottle cap. We have plus one bottle cap. So if I recall correctly, there's only two things you can make a make with a bottle cap right now. One was a stone cutter, and then there was a then there's also like a table or something, which I think the stone cutter will be a priority. Good, good, good. Oh, I don't know if food spoils or not, because I was just thinking I'll just pick all this food up while I can. And just bring it back and we'll store it at home. I don't know if stuff spoils or not. I guess I'll find out. Because these things do regrow. And we are pretty close to my home. So if, um, if this food does spoil, then I'm not that far from here. It's almost like my own little garden. <laughs> sword out just in case. There's more resin. I guess I'll pick that up. I haven't actually been paying attention as to um, how much resin is being used. Oh, I also want bandages too. This anything? These little, those little tiny strip of wood? Nope. Some more sprouts because I'm pretty sure I needed that to make bandages. <gasps> Got another, another bottle cap. <laughs> cool. Got the sword. It's neat, neat how it has different animations too. Okay, now this is just burning on its own, right? Like I'm not doing anything in here. There. Okay, so that's all. Grilled grasshopper legs. Grilled to provide a plentiful snack, particularly amongst the Vanguard corpse. So I guess we 
our people eat grasshoppers <laughs> uh, regularly. So now I can make a stone cutter table, which I, I guess I won't be able to make use of until I take out an ant to get the mandibular. But let's see what we can, uh, where we can put it right now. So, okay, so, yeah, so this, yeah, you can make a cap table, which, yeah, that's low priority right now. We right? need to find wood for that. Building interactive. Uh, okay. I need, oh, I need stone and a screw. Wow. Okay. I'm going to move this chest. Nothing in it, right? There, so I'll move the chest. I'll rebuild one over here. I'll rebuild one over here. Now, I'll put some of the items in there. Like the bottle cap for sure. Okay, I wonder if I've got these in a the wrong spot. As I'm using the tools, they're kind of moving around a lot. And I would like them to be in the same spot all the time. So I'm going to move them this way instead. And keep the empty spaces like at the bottom. So I have one insect egg. Well, we'll have this chest here for food and bug parts. <laughs> okay, there's there's the poisonous mushrooms. I don't want to put that into food. Um, so put that in these special items. There. So that's what we got there. So I need to hunt down a bull ant. So will this tell me anything? I don't see anybody. There's a mauve, mauve plant. I wonder what's special about the mauve plant. You need a crude hatchet in order to chop that down. Okay. I thought I saw some, oh, probably just a light, some green glowing over there. Okay, ladybugs are all over here. Ah, there's a, um, an uh, owl effigy I haven't looked at yet. Okay, how deadly is this? Can I make, can I build anywhere? Can I build a bridge? I built a bridge from here to here. Assume it's going to require a foundation. Must be on the ground. It must be on the ground. Okay, so you can't do that. Um, what about a ceiling? Hmm. Oh. Okay, good. Lows. Even if I can just do this on the other side and jump across. Just something so I don't have to keep running around that way and I don't have to worry about going through the water. I thought it was lining itself up. Like that? <laughs> okay. So if I can jump over to the other side and then do that over there too. Oh, that's not good. That was not good. I thought I could make that jump. I didn't realize that. Did I just lose all my stuff? I'm going to test that again. So I kept my sword, and that's it. I'm assuming that my stuff is lost because you can't go in the water. Okay. So I kept my clothing and my sword and my arrow. So I guess whatever you had equipped here, uh, you keep. Okay, let's see what the owl had to say. If you die, you drop your... Thanks! Except for what you're holding or wearing. All is not lost, though. You can retrieve your belongings if you make it back to your tombstone. If you drown in deep water, your tombstone will spawn on the last bit of solid ground you walked on. OK. 
Okay. Um, are you sure? Because <laughs> that would have been over there and I did not see it. And that was a risk that did not pay off. Yeah, I think my my tombstone's gone. Uh word of warning. <laughs> Whoever might be playing this game, that yes, that's not not a good thing to do. Yeah, that's I'm pretty sure that glowy thing, that is my that's my tombstone. Yep, it is. Okay, so my stuff is gone. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have to go gather all my resources. I'm going to do that. This video has already been half an hour, so maybe this is a good place to end this. Basically, it was just building, construction, did a bit of exploring. At least I, I put my bottle caps and stuff in the chest, so the stuff that I lost is stuff that's recoverable, so it's not a total loss. But I'm going to run around and get some more materials and continue on. So that's going to be it for this video. If you like this style of game, Check out other videos I have on my channel. I've got some other survival style games. But that's going to be it for this one. Take care, everyone.